My name is Gary Simon and I'm the Projects Manager for Feed Water Limited. Um, today I'd like to just explain about our new project we've just completed for Meadow Foods here in Chester. First of all, what I'd like to explain about is our new Activox system with a new controller, uh, which we've designed from scratch. It's going to control uh, a mixture of approximately six types of water coming into one uh, silo. Uh, difficulty we've got is because it's six different types, we've got to treat that water in, as, as one. And we're doing that by transferring water from the silo through these pipes underneath here and through here uh, and back through. Now the water is circulating on a constant flow of around about 25 metres cubed an hour. The silo is 115 to 130 cubic metres of water. So as you can see, it will take quite a long time to circulate. So we've got water coming through, back out. We're taking a small flow here at around about 30 litres an hour uh, through a filter to protect the, uh, the probe. And this is our chlorine dioxide probe here. And this is constantly measuring the free chlorine dioxide. From there, the signal goes back into our main controller and this is constantly reading. We've got a set point of 1.5 ppm on this particular uh, job we're working on. When it gets to 1.5 and drops below it, the system will automatically start the dose. It's dosed via proportional dosing, so basically what that means is, as it falls off its set point, it will start dosing, but very slowly. The further it moves away from its set point, it will start to ramp up, so the pump will get faster and faster to a point where it's running flat out. As the chlorine dioxide starts to rise, the pump then starts to slow down. So the water's always right to be transferred to the next silo and on to do its business on site. The chlorine dioxide unit, our active ox, uh, is basically, on this site, is three chemicals mixed together to generate chlorine dioxide. So they've got a dosing pump inside here, a prominent dosing pump, and we then take the three chemicals and we inject them in equal amounts into this block. This is a CPVC block, it's very resilient to chlorine dioxide and that generates instantaneously. So as soon as those three chemicals come in contact with each other, we have instantaneous chlorine dioxide. Chlorine dioxide is stored here for a very short period of time and there we are, we've dropped below 1.5, 1.49 and we're now kicked off. And the pumps will now slowly ramp themselves up. The, the action of the pumps pumping push the neat chemical now into the flow of water. As it flows away, it mixes and it gets down to the point we want. So here we're adding chemical in a neat form. It's getting shoved right around the system. So as soon as this goes back to 1.5, the system will stop. On this system, we've got a network connection. We can connect straight onto a computer. We will also have Modbus on here, where the customer will connect onto his main system and we'll be able to read all the readings, including alarms and so forth, directly onto their system. So any computer that's connected to this will be able to see that. On this particular one, we've also put a, a SIM card and we're able to access this remotely from outside uh, of site while we dial straight back into it. Uh, and that's for us to do some uh, research work and to work closely with the company.